What is going on my people? Welcome back to the channel for another album review. I'm your boy Nassim the Dream. If you're new to the channel, just go right on ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell as well to always keep notified on my newest content. And today I will be reviewing the new Camilla Gabello record, Familia. This is the third full-length commercial record from Cuban-born multi-Grammy nominated pop contemporary artist and superstar Camilla Cabello. Recollecting back to the start of Camilla Cabello's career, starting off with the pop group Fifth Harmony, showing some of the most skillful and potential in the whole group. After stepping away from the group, transitioning into her solo career coming out with her self-titled debut dominating the billboard charts with select few tracks such as Havana featuring Young Thug. As a record, this doesn't necessarily come off as a groundbreaking or boldly promising record to bring something so different to the table compared to her competition. Then moving on to her sophomore LP sort of confirms my thoughts based off that first record, not really using the momentum that she gained from that debut and it just really comes off forgettable for many of the listens on here. I can't really say I was looking forward to this newest addition to Kamea Cabello's name but regarding her vocal talent, I crossed my fingers in hopes with at least an average takeaway from this new record. On this new LP, we see Camilla embracing her Latin roots primarily for the tone of this entire LP, following up with notions about her breakup, and overall just moving forward and continuing to grow and learn from her experiences. Starting off with the title Enchula Familia, setting in the tone with some of the Latin horns right into Cecilia, a salsa rock instrumental with slick guitars, drum machines, and maracas. With some of the features to mention on this LP, we see features from pop puck singer songwriter Willow onto the song Psycho Freak, primarily giving way onto the chorus, which I will admit hits a lot better than I would have expected initially, but I still think there needs to be some work with her vocally. Considering most of the track lists on here, but talking about this one specifically, Camille is really controlling the flow of the verses and hooks onto this track, especially overall making a likable tune plain, but it is likable. On the third placement, we reached the first teaser track to be released for this LP, Bam Bam, featuring Ed Sheeran. And I don't really recall enjoying anything from this track much, but I will say Camilla delivers a decent performance on this actually. It's well produced with the Latin instrumental as well. Though I will admit, I do really feel like someone else could have really subbed in for Ed Sheeran's spot onto this track, really just giving more promise instead of Ed Sheeran, maybe for an artist like Ntale Forcade, for example. But this is what we get, I guess, so it could be worse. So there are some mild highlights onto this LP, but of course there are some duds that I originally foreseen into this playlist. The song Quiet dims down the lights with a little bit more gentle laid back pop ballads, but to me just overfills the jar and making this a little bit too light of a track and just not really making it so entertaining and more so just tasteless. Boys Don't Cry is another track that I found to be on the tacky side of the list on here. The leads and the drums are lifeless with not enough vocal support from Camilla. Hasta Los Dientes is kind of a slippery slope for me on here. I'm really interested in the guitar picking styles on here, really displaying that authentic salsa style rhythms that's well suited for this record. But for the song structure, it's really still going along very poorly and most of the mix and mastering too. And from here on out, there really isn't that much left to really save the rest of this record. In my opinion, there seems to be a lot of holding back for Camille Cabello on here and from her coming out with something more heavily impactful with Latin pop. Performance wise, really just feels half-assed, almost feels like it was rushed by the studio to really make its release date. I'm not going to say there's an extreme lack of instrumental skill, but I can say that there is a much lack of the spark into most of these tracks. I can barely even come up with anything memorable or highly enjoyable from my experience. I would also like to add, in consideration with these now three projects that we got from Camilla Cabello, maybe it's time to really think about a dramatic change before the talent goes to waste. And I think in consideration with these three projects that we receive from Camilla Cabello, maybe it's time to get a dramatic change before the talent really goes to waste. I'm gonna give Camille Cabello's Familia a 35%. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go ahead and like, share, and comment down below. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Down in the description, you see all the separate checklist ratings I have for the album, more videos, and also the links to the social media accounts so you can keep up with me on the daily. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Dopes.